fruits of a quiet ministry in lockdown. And the second part is about going for a walk in the city where the streets are a little busier and um, your head is also a little busier. Um, you might find this piece a little bit weird, but I'm not going to give you any context yet. I will give you the context after I've performed it. So, yeah. It's called, oh, this is important. It's called, it's probably a cul-de-sac, but I might as well check. <laughs> okay, here's part one.
into every decision that I make when making a podcast episode, as I would if I was making any other kind of artwork or piece of music. And it's, become, it's becoming important to me to try and demonstrate how I experience that, which, yeah, is one of the reasons that I'm dancing to this, and, and the other one is kind of just to, yeah, anyway, hopefully it becomes clear. Um, one last piece of context um, is that um, I've been asking people for feedback on my podcast and the comedy within. And I've learned that it's actually incredibly important to be very specific about what kind of feedback you're after. Um, because if you're not specific about it, people don't understand what kind of feedback you want. And they say things like this. Um, uh, this piece is called... Um, uh, okay, sorry. This piece is called, Is This a Personal Journey or Do You Want to Earn Money? <laughs> and this is my response to that question. Start, please. The third piece of feedback that stuck with me is the last one I'm going to talk about today, and it's this. Is this a personal journey, or do you want to earn money? <laughs> this is actually a great question, and I didn't immediately know how to answer it, but I've had a think, and here goes. I'm going to let you into my head for a minute. Sometimes I have silly daydreams. Silly daydreams are positive thoughts or dreams that I train myself to imagine, to snap myself away from dark or intrusive thoughts. My silly daydreams change with the seasons, but for the last few weeks, my go-to is as follows. Disclaimer, this is cringe. <laughs> I'm on a quiz show. This is my dream, by the way, my silly daydream. I'm on a quiz show. I'm on a team of five with close friends or family members. Doesn't matter who, just people I care about. And basically, the long story short is that there's 26 grand up for grabs and I have to complete a task to get it for the team. And then they announce the task and it's always the same. I have to sing by heart the school song from Matilda the Musical. And every time I say a letter of the alphabet, I have to press the corresponding letter on a big set of alphabetical buttons in front of me. I'll demonstrate. which I will, by the way, uh, we get to go home with 26 grand between us. Ridiculous, isn't it? But I've had a think about it, and I know what that silly daydream is about. It's about the dream of being able to earn money doing something I'm good at and earn the money in a quantifiable way. So this achievement directly earns this amount of money, a clear, indisputable value for something. Earning money in a quantifiable way is often impossible to do when working as an artist. By the way, I'm an artist. I don't say that very often because it feels like a weird thing to say. I'm an artist. Okay. Good for you. Sort of thing. And I also get an image in my head of that crazy artist guy from Notting Hill that ends up marrying Hugh Grant's little sister. Uh, but there you have it. I make art in lots of different mediums. I teach students of art in a conservatoire. And I'm sometimes paid to make art if I manage to get a commission here or there. But this is tough and competitive as there's little money for arts funding in the UK, blah, 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 blah. In the past, I've worked in garage doors, aerospace inspection, hospitality, military vehicles, health insurance, food sales and law. And it all made me miserable. So now I'm an artist. Can't stop saying it now, I started. I'm an artist. Someone stop me. I would say that I've approached making this podcast in the only way I know how, as an artist. Here it is again. 
So I've poured time and energy into considering the smallest decisions, like rhythm, pulse, tone, interruptions, direction, etc. Some people might like it, others might not. But I guess, like any artwork, it's an expression of the way I, the artist, experience the world, in the hope that it allows others an alternative lens through which to experience their world, should they want it. So, am I on a personal journey or do I want to earn money? So let's first answer this as another artist. Stormzy, for example, is an artist. Don't know why I've picked Stormzy, but we'll run with it. Does Stormzy go on a personal journey when he makes an album, and does he express that personal journey via the album? Yes. Does he want to earn money from it? Yes. Two yeses. Both please. I'm not comparing myself to Stormzy. Or am I? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying that we've got at least three things in common. We both go on personal journeys, we both represent these journeys in our art, and we both work really hard to do so. In an ideal world, though don't worry I'm under no illusion that, that this ideal world exists in the UK at the moment, we'd both like to be paid in some way for our hard work in our field. Now, at this point, the argument that most frequently comes back to me is, yeah, but to make money as an artist you have to be good. Don't deny it, you were thinking it. But remember we said that art is subjective, so what's worthless to one person might be profound to another. So what do we mean by good? And then we reach the problem of art in a capitalist society, which of course is very complicated. But for now, let's just think about 2017, when Ed Sheeran broke a record for the most top 10 singles from one album, claiming all 10 top 10 UK single chart spots. Wow. Is this impressive? Sort of, sure. Yeah, Ed Sheeran's a talented musician. But mostly, this just highlights the self-perpetuating nature of being in the charts because of online streaming algorithms ensuring that 99.999% of talented new artists are fated for failure. Also remember that as social beings, we're crowd followers, all of us, me included. So for me, is this a personal journey or do I want to earn money? The honest answer is, I would like both, but I understand that I can't necessarily have both. 